These are some of the craziest band celebrations in the world of football. In football, emotions run wild and victory is celebrated with crazy happiness. But there's a hidden secret that the soccer authorities try to hide. Get ready for a wild ride as we reveal the totally forbidden celebrations in football. These players may have missed their true calling as dancers, but FIFA wasn't quite ready for their groove on the pitch. You cannot control your laughter after watching this. Kay Kamara scored in New England's 3-0 win over Montreal Impact, prompting an unusual celebration. Did you guys see that? A player with the most unique goal celebration ever. A full-blown booty shake and twerk. But what was the cost? A yellow card. I guess the referee's not a fan of bootylicious celebrations. A yellow card is acceptable for this kind of entertainment. But not every yellow card is acceptable. Neymar, after scoring a sensational goal in Santos' 3-2 win over Colo Colo, unleashed his comedic genius with an upside-down paper mask celebration. But the referee didn't share the joke, showing Neymar a second yellow card of the game, and he had to leave the field. If Neymar's celebration was illegal to get a red card, why don't you go ahead and click that red button that says subscribe? Let us all show our full support to Neymar in this difficult time. Because Brazilians always show their respect to their opponents, just like Vinny Jr. But why is he crying like he's auditioning for a comedy show? There's something more to this cheeky gesture. You would not believe that this celebration got his whole team a band to play in the Botafogo Stadium. Ah, the memories. Botafogo had a crying session at a press conference and their rivals never let them forget it. Back in 2008, a press conference held to complain about poor refereeing decisions. Botafogo players were left in tears after their side lost to Flamengo. You'd think the fans would laugh it off, but oh no. They're fuming like a teapot on full boil. The crybaby celebration hit them harder than a cold shower on a winter morning. But Bale's celebration hit him harder after the match. It was a perfect night for the Madrid Derby in the 2019 season. And he scores! Gareth Beth with an absolute stunner. What a moment! But wait, what's this? Gareth Bale with a strange celebration. Did he just do the sleeve cutter? Bale, that celebration is not exactly within the rules. It might be a bit offensive, you know? And the authorities dropped the hammer with a thrilling 12-game suspension. That's right, but this player got suspended for his whole life. 20-year-old Greek footballer was banned for life for playing for his national team after a controversial goal celebration in which he appeared to give a Nazi salute. The player said he hadn't understood the meaning of the gesture. But is it possible in 2013 for a European to be so poorly informed? Giorgos Katidis gestured with his right arm extended and hand straightened to celebrate scoring the winning goal for his team AEK Athens in a Super League game at the Olympic Stadium in Athens. He was heavily criticized by political parties on Twitter and Facebook and later issued a statement apologizing. Nevertheless, the country's football federation said the midfielder's gesture insulted all victims of the Nazis and banned him from playing for the Greek national team for life. I mean, I can't believe he didn't know what that was. Was he high? But this guy wanted everyone to believe on the rumors of being high off the pitch. Robbie Fowler found himself in hot water for a controversial goal celebration that led to a four-match ban and a $44,000 fine. It was April 3rd in 1999. Liverpool legend Robbie Fowler set fire to Anfield Stadium with the most junky goal celebration in world history. Fowler exploded in the middle of the Merseyside Derby in an outraged expression fueled by the pressure of rumors about his drug use. After scoring a goal, Fowler ran towards the Everton supporter stands behind the right of the goal. Fowler lowered himself until his head reached the field line before he performed the cocaine user sniffing gesture. Another Liverpool player pulled Fowler up before he raised his hand and showed a little dance and returned to crawling with the sniffing gesture. In an interview, he said he'll never regret that celebration. 
but this player never thought he will regret wearing underpants after he was fined $126,000 and banned from playing in Denmark's next competitive game. In a bizarre and unexpected turn of events, UEFA put the spotlight on underpants as Denmark striker Niklas Benter got caught in a branding storm during Euro 2012. After scoring a goal, the daring forward decided to reveal a sponsor's name on his underpants. Probably hoping to turn his goal into a walking advertisement. However, instead of applause, he faced a financial blow when UEFA handed him a fine for the cheeky display. And get this, the Irish bookmaker Paddy Power stepped up to the plate and declared that they will gladly foot the bill for Nicholas Benter's fine. And why wouldn't they? Paddy swiftly took advantage of the situation, claiming that his underpants were indeed lucky pants. But Issa Alekasir needed these lucky pants more than anyone when he was banned for playing in the AFC for six months. Alekasir was a vital player for Persepolis in 2020 Champions League campaign. As well as netting a brace in the quarterfinal, he also scored in their final group game and notched the decisive goal in their 1-0 round of 16. But this guy was handed a six-month ban from football hours before his team faced Al Nasir in the Asian Champions League semifinal after his trademark goal celebration was deemed discriminatory. 30-year-old has repeatedly throughout his career performed a goal celebration where he stretches the outside of his eyes in a gesture interpreted by some to be racist. I don't think you can get away with that anymore. Getting banned on your trademark celebration is surprising, but this was not a trademark Sui celebration by Ronaldo. That he was fined 20,000 euros by the UEFA. During the match on March 12th, the Portugal International was seen gesturing towards fans, mimicking Diego Simeone. From the first leg, after which the Atletico manager was fined 17,000 euros for an obscene celebration. It came after former Real Madrid forward Ronaldo had converted a late penalty for his hat-trick and a 3-0 victory which sent the Serie A through an aggregate to the quarterfinals. He cannot fail when it comes to the Champions League. But this guy literally failed in his celebration. Sporting Lisbon forward Teofilo Gutierrez found a novel way of getting a yellow card during his side's 3-1 victory. The 30-year-old stole the referee's spray, which is usually used for marking out the walls on free kicks, to use in his celebration after scoring Sporting's third and final goal. Although the official did seem to find the incident funny, he gave the striker a caution after he was done with the spray. To make matters worse, the Colombian didn't even seem to be able to use the spray right, resulting in a very underwhelming celebration. However, Teal will be happy with his night's work, which saw the Portuguese club go through to the knockout stages. And there you have it. From twerking celebrations to upside-down mask antics, football never fails to surprise us with moments of joy and hilarity. If you like the video, go ahead and kick us a subscribe and maybe throw a like our way too.